speaker is an individual uh, who is uh, facing the end of life, and uh, her name is Barbara McKay. Good morning. My name is Barbara McKay. I'm 60 years old. I was born here in Seattle and grew up on Clyde Hill and now live in Kirkland. And I'm here today because I'm so happy that the Washingtonians um, passed the Death with Dignity Act. Um, it's already giving me peace of mind because I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. I have late stage ovarian cancer. I've had a couple surgery and I've done many years of chemotherapy. And I want to live as long as possible, but only as long as my life has dignity and, and quality that I cherish. Um, I have a wonderful daughter and a great husband who've been very supportive. And when I was first diagnosed, I had conversations with them about my end of life choices and wishes. But it, it scared me because I didn't want them to get in any trouble helping me with my choices because I wanted to choose my own time to die. And I tried talking with a few doctors, but most of them acted as though they didn't really want the responsibility of having that conversation because there was no law in place at the time. Um, I, my family has gone through a couple of um, not very um, dignified deaths. Both my parents passed away. They were 89 and a half, and my father had to choose to stop eating and drinking because at the time there was no other choice available to him. Um, and because he didn't get enough information about the process, it became very painful for him, and it was very difficult for us to watch him slowly lose his dignity and linger day after day and not being able to um, give him something to just put an end to his life because that's what he chose but couldn't do. There was nobody to help him. And my mother, the same thing happened to her. She died. Um, she asked us to please never put her in a rest home or any kind of care facility. And we didn't have a choice at the end. So she too had to die in a manner that she would not have chosen, chosen if she had the option of this law. So now it's my turn to face the end of life decisions and I'm going to benefit from the Washington law and I thank the people of this state for um, their commitment to independence and dignity and I'm going to sign the Compassion and Choices letter to my physicians and begin the dialogue today with my doctors to let them know um, that I want to have choice and control over my death and I want to die with dignity. I don't want my family to have to watch me wither away as um, can happen with cancer. Um, I hope to live for many more years, but when my time comes, I want to be able to choose um, my time and my way with the people I care around me. And I hope that um, this new law will, will help the people of Washington know that they can get information and have choices and the people that choose to um, use the law have that opportunity now. Thank you. Well, Barbara, if you would just take a moment. To be clear, what Barbara is signing is this letter, which again, as you've heard from the speakers, we anticipate that this law is going to improve end of life care for all Washingtonians. And we want today to begin conversations, particularly with your doctors. As you have seen, there are some uh, health care providers who are opting out. And we feel it is critical that Washingtonians know in advance who is going to respect their decision and who is not, so that they can make an informed choice of health care providers. So this is, this is not a formal form to request a prescription or anything like that. This is a letter to Barbara's primary health care physician letting them know that she wants to begin that dialogue today. 